Hi, I'm Justin with System7, and today I'm going to be teaching you about auto attendance. For those of you that don't know, an auto attendant is that nice little menu at the beginning whenever you call somebody that says press one for support, press two for sales. Well, now you can have that option too, except a little bit cooler. So this is going to be video number one in a series where I go over more advanced things for our phone system. If you complete them all, you'll just be a phone expert just like me. You'll get your own graduation cap. Just don't take my job, please. Seriously, I, I need my job. All right, so let's go ahead and dive on into it. First thing we're going to need is a laptop. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Now, let's get logged into the phone portal. All right, now that you are logged in, your screen should look like this. If it doesn't, you probably don't have the correct access. You need an office manager or higher level access in order to access the screen. Um, if you don't have that, reach out to the person in your company that does or give us a call and we can authorize that and get you added as one. So step one, we're gonna head to this conveniently named menu, auto attendance. Here you see we don't have any auto attendance at the moment, so I'm gonna show you how to create one from scratch. Here we click add attendant. So we need to name our auto attendant and I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm gonna name it main AA. I'm gonna make it extension, let's go 900. We like to keep these in the 900 so that way it kind of stays out of the range of extensions you guys might actually use. Time frame, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select all the time. Now we always wanna put it on all the time uh, and we'll explain that in future videos about time frames and how to use those. Press add and here we are. Here's the new auto attendant that you just created. Now there's a couple things we need to do, but let me go through some of these menus. So the name, you see here, we can still edit the name. We can change it as we want, make it whatever makes sense to us. The extension though, that's locked in now. That cannot be changed. The only way this can be changed is by deleting this auto attendant and recreating it. Under here, we have our intro greeting and then our menu prompt. So these are the two things that the customers hear whenever they call. You know, they'll hear something like this. Hi, thanks for calling System 7. Mm. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. If you are calling for new services or to change or add to your services, please press 1. Oh. If you have questions about an invoice or would like to make a payment, please press 2. If you are looking for technical support, please press 3. So in the example that I provided where you heard, you know, welcome to System 7, here's our business hours, yada yada, all of that is our intro greeting. So we're going to record that kind of stuff here. Now where we tell them what buttons to press and what each button does, that actually gets recorded down here in the menu prompt. The reason why we want to do this, your intro greeting doesn't really change sometimes, or maybe you do want to change it for the holidays, but all of your buttons are still the same. You don't have to re-record the whole thing. You could just re-record one section of it and be good. So first things first, let's get our intro greeting in. I'm going to click manage here on the speaker button next to intro greeting, add greeting. Now there's two different ways we could do this. We can record something. If you want to record it, you're going to have call me at, you can type in your extension number. The system will then call you. It will tell you, please leave a message after the tone and anything you say there will become your intro greeting. Now you can also put your cell phone number here if you'd rather it call you on your cell phone, uh, but for best quality, it's probably better to put your extension. And down here under time frame, once again, we're gonna select always, and then we're gonna press call. That's if you wanna record it through the system. You can also record something either professionally or on your computer itself. And if you do that, you could press upload, find the file, I've made one right here, and then we're gonna click upload. It'll close out the menu, but we can go right back into it. And we see we have a recording here. If you wanna make sure it's the right one, just press play. Hello, and thank you for calling Movie Phone, your one-stop shop for all movie times and locations. As you can see here, uh, my auto attendant is for Movie Phone. So that is the intro that I want. Now we're gonna press done. Let's go down here to menu prompts. This is again where we're going to record what each button does. So same thing as above, you could do record or upload. I, of course, have one ready to upload. On this one, though, you need to put a description. So for upload, I'm just going to put menu options. 
press browse. I've got a conveniently named audio file called menu options. And we'll press upload. Once again, you'll see it right here. We see how long it is. And if you want to make sure it's the right one, you could press play. To get movie times, please press one. Or to speak to a manager, please press two. All right, so you see in my example, I have one and two are the only buttons that I've created. However, you can use as many of them as you like. To get started in assigning buttons, we simply select which key we want to do what. So for me, option one is my first option. For that, we just click on button one. Now each one of these does something different and they're pretty self-explanatory, but let me take you through some of these options. So under user, this option you'll use if you want to send a phone call directly to an individual in the company. So, you know, I said press two to talk to a manager. Well, let's say that manager's name is Steve. I can type his name here and look, that call will now go to Steve if the customer hits one. Down here under caller ID prefix, this is what we use to add characters to the beginning of your caller ID. So that helps with understanding if you have a call coming in from the auto attendant or if you have a call coming in from someone else in the office or somebody calling you directly. So if I label this AA, when that next phone call comes in from them pressing one, Steve knows it's from the auto attendant because it says AA dash and then the caller ID. So that's how we wanted to do it. We would just press save, but we don't. So we're gonna press remove and go on to the next option, which is conference. Selecting conference, you simply type in the conference bridge you'd like to forward the call to. You can find those up here. If you don't have one, give us a call and we can get one set up for you. And those will transfer users directly to a conference bridge. Call queue. For those of you that do use call queues, those are located up here where you can find the extension numbers and those will forward the calls directly to the call queues. There will be more videos in the future with more details about call queues. Your company directory. This will simply list off all the extensions that you have built out and the names of those people. Those names are recorded under those person's voicemails. Now we have voicemail. For voicemail, this will forward a call directly to someone's voicemail. So much like user where it forwards the call to the phone, it's just gonna forward it directly to that person's voicemail instead. See here, we can come in here and type in Steve. And there we go. That would send the call to Steve's voicemail. Under voicemail management, this isn't much of a used feature anymore, but this would be able to call in and access your voicemail over the phone. Nowadays, we have a nifty little app that does that for you, or we could just email you all your voicemails anyway. External number. This will allow you to forward calls to any phone number you want. So if you need to forward calls to another office or someone who doesn't use our phone system, or let's say the on-call person's cell phone, you simply press here type in their phone number, press save, and those calls will be forwarded out to that cell phone number. Play message. So this would be something if we need to give the customers additional information. Now in my example, we said press one to hear movie times. Well, we can add a greeting here, which is the same that we've done in these processes. We'll go upload, movie times. And here we go, we could see there's a message now that plays when the customer hits one. Now, what do we wanna happen after the customer presses one? Do we wanna send them back to the main menu? Do, which is just repeating the greeting prompt. Do we wanna hang up on them? Or do we want it to do any of the other options that we've labeled here? The choice is up to you. I'm gonna have it repeat the greeting prompt afterwards, just in case they wanna to talk to a manager. And you can make sure we have the right recording again by pressing play. It would appear that the only movie playing today is Terminator 2. All right, great movie to be playing today. So I'm gonna make sure to press save. See up here, the green box says the auto attendant has been saved. Now I can move on to option two. Option two in my example was forwarding to our manager, which is Steve, right? And under the caller ID prefix, I'm gonna put AA in my example. So Steve knows if this call is coming from the auto attendant. I'll press save again. And there you have it. 
we have this auto attendant set up, but it's not being used yet. To do that, we need to tell phone calls to go to this auto attendant. How we do that is we go up here to inventory, come down here and select the number we want to use. I want to use this number right here. So we'll go to the edit button. I'll change the treatment to auto attendant. And then that auto attendant that I made was named main, right? There it is. We could put notes about the auto attendant here or a caller ID prefix, but a caller ID prefix really isn't necessary as we already added one in the button options. Then we simply press save and there we go. We could see this phone number is now being forwarded to this auto attendant. All right, so you've officially completed video one of this series. You now know everything there is to know about auto attendants, and I bet you got a million of them set up right now. Well, just in case you screw anything up, you can always call us and we'll help you get back to normal. Or if you want to learn even more, go ahead and click the next video in this series. Have a good one.